Hi everyone, welcome to Python Learning Series 102 Engineers. This is the seventh video on how to do 4D gate CLA automation using Python. In the previous videos, we have seen how to initiate SSH, execute show commands, read CSV and frame configurations into 4D gate device, then get the command outputs, parse it, and show the object references in terminal. In this video, we will see how to get IP address input from user then identify the objects associated with it and find out the references for example here if you take the IP address 101 101 is having multiple entries here so the object ID for 101 is IP 101 then user 1 IP then test 01 there are multiple duplicate entries for this particular IP static IP so we will identify those entries then we will search for the references associated with it for example ip101 is having three references and others not having references we will try adding those so first we will find out the cli commands for that then we will achieve it from python so for identifying the address ids this is a command I'll give the IP here 0 0.1.1 so we can see all the three objects let me copy the output now to get the object references we can get the object ID put it here so our script logic is going to be same so first we will execute this command get the object IDs then we need to do an iteration over all these three objects and get its references so let us just have a look into this output we can see three references for other IDs this is associated with IP group 1 this doesn't have any references so let's go to python i'll copy the previous script i'll create one more file here i'll call this I'll create the file called ipreferences.py and here I'm using netmico importing the connection then the input I'll ask for enter ip to search here user will give the IP address then we need to execute this command to find out the IP so let me just copy this in the command I will print the output
I got the output so first step is done so I got this output now to pass this output what we can do so we need to take all these three values all these three object names and then we need to create a list so for that we'll use regex 101 for regex I have created another video so I'll add that also in the description so here we will do a simple regex match edit after edit there is a space and I'll add it into a group so all these three names are matching in the group one you can see here so I'll create a pattern above IP pattern equals re dot compile and I'll copy this put it here now this is a uh, regex compiler so then we need to apply this to the output so IP references I'll call IP references then IP pattern dot we need to do the find iter method because we are having multiple outputs so we need to do a iteration over that so find iter these things i have explained in the regex video ip references so and then we will do a for loop for ip reference in IP references and let us just try printing IP reference here So I have received the regex uh, match output here. You can see it is matching with the object names. Now to get the exact name what we can do is IP references dot group one because we have seen that in the regex one not one so the exact match is coming in IP one uh, group one and uh, what we can do now instead of printing it we will append this to a group so I'll just initialize a group here above IP objects equal to an empty list and here IP objects dot append append now we will have a IP objects group with all the matching object IDs so if you want to print that print we'll do a print here
yeah uh, we are getting the output here all the three objects so i'll just add a description also address objects are this now we need to do an addition level of iteration over this objects and then we need to execute this command for all these three objects so for ip object in ip objects then we'll do additional print here so that we can differentiate each execution give a description references reference for and I'll give the variable as IP object the object each object what we are going to get and then I'll copy this syntax put it here and And here the variable is going to be IP object. Now output is going to be netconnect.send command. And I'll do a print up. Now we have achieved all the logics. So first we are getting, giving IP as input, then identifying the objects uh, which is associated with same IP, then identifying its references. So let us try running the script. So it is connecting to the device. So it should show the references. Like same IP is having three objects. 101 is having one reference and user one is having one reference here. And test one is having empty reference, zero references. So it connected to the device. and we can see here so same ip is having multiple references with different object ids so you can do the same logic with mac address or any other object you can create multiple objects i hope uh, this video was helpful thanks for watching see you in the next video